<laughs> Stress dog. What is up, YouTube? We're here in GNC right now because we are launching the frosted Frenchie cookies. It's gonna be frosted animal cookies, but Frenchies are way cooler. So we're shooting a little video for that, and we got the beautiful Watson. What? Hudson of Hudson, if you will. The star of the show all the time. She's a little stressed out. It's a little hot in here. So we're gonna finish this up really quick and get the fuck out of here. Put her in the air conditioned car because it's like her, her trailer, we can call it. We gotta get her back to her trailer, get some, some boss water in her so she doesn't dehydrate. So we need to get the hell out of here because it's hot as F. So take out your protein at GNC. <laughs> So we're here at Raw with Mr. Kevin, the Christine Barber himself, getting a nice trim because I look like an absolute bum. You were gone for what, three weeks, Kevin? Uh, 11 days. 11 days. Felt like three weeks. <laughs> but I, I fucked up my beard heavy when he was gone too. I just clipped off half of it. Luckily it regrew by the time he got back so he couldn't get mad at me for ruining it. But he has been cutting up my hair since we're here at Raw, so got to stay clean and fresh. It's nice I don't have to leave the warehouse. Well, that's what's going on. After this, going to go get some food, train. I don't know if I'm going to go to the raw gym or my gym yet. We'll see, so figuring it out, but I need a trim, so we're getting it done. Is it weird cutting his hair with his new hair? Uh, nah, it's all pretty much the same to me at this point. I haven't even cut the new hair really yet at all. The top we just left for the last like couple of months. Just trying to grow it out. <laughs> Axel just texted me saying he might be coming down to Florida to kick my ass for some training a little bit in August, which I probably need, so it'll be nice. This is meal number three. Very appetizing. Bernie's actually been making pulled chicken, and it's much easier to eat with baked chicken. So you need this, chug some water. Have you seen that um, Amazon tool? That way you can. Like you put your chicken breast on like this little container and you spin it. And then it like pulls it? Yeah. Pretty, pretty cool. I need it though. Send me the link, we'll buy it. I'll probably save for you like probably a good 10 minutes. She was bitching yesterday because her hands were killing me. I'm like, you want me to do it? She's like, no, it's the only workout I get right now. Blame Bradley for that. <sighs> just build a gym for her? Yeah, but she hasn't even had time to go out there. Chaos. We got grandma in town now though, so she'll be good to go. Pretty well. I'm on week two of no caffeine, I'm fucking tired. I thought it would get over by now. Even that. I have no idea what this is. I'm just being an asshole right now, trying not to give someone free promotion. Someone sent me some random containers. I don't know what the fuck they are. Literally what I got sent. Empty black containers. They're like, they're like a prescription bottle where they're hard to open. Little kids can't open them. I don't know. Final product? Final product. The bags are fucked up. Though. Why are the bags fucked up? If you look at it. Straight on, it's just like not straight. So we just printed it wrong. But you see, like, proteins on like the back, the back side. Of the oh, side. like that, and yeah. wrapped around a bit. Yeah. That's good, though. Yeah. They came in good, though. Cold. That's the only thing I was really They're cold still? So, yeah. It's fancy. I have to cheat on my diet for these. You gotta do it. <laughs> what? You say you have to do it. You gotta do it. Don't tell Hannah. If anyone ever gets triggered why I don't respond to their text, that's why. Am I to show again? I'm trying not to show who is texting me. That's too many texts for fucking 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon. I literally just pick 50% and don't reply to the rest. So, sorry. It's not even like anything important at the time, it's just chaos. Chris Williams and yeah. calling me a loser. I'm not replying to him. No, did you actually, well, no, you should probably actually wrote that text. I did. I'm not replying. 
Loser. All right, so a little delayed now because we're moving slow as we always do. And I'm training at Raw Gym and it's cold in here. Not actually, but relative to my absolute sauna of a gym. It's cold to me. So I grabbed the hoodie from the warehouse, stole it from the back, didn't even pay for it, so I don't tell anyone. And I'm gonna go hit some chest. No caffeine, had a pump RTD, going in raw dog and on this workout. No energy, so I'm gonna stimulate myself with some blood flow and hopefully get a nice little chest pump. I'm in my gym. Anytime I work anywhere else, I just feel weird. You blame me for this one, man. I'm honestly only came for this piece of equipment, though. Kevin cut all my hair off today. Hmm? Kevin cut all my hair off today. I'm trying to grow it up. Yeah, that's pretty short. I can literally see like your skin on the back of your head. I'm bald. All right, so I'm supposed to be doing decline dumbbell press, but I mean, I, we filmed this last workout. I couldn't, I don't know how people get into a bench with dumbbells and it hurts, but this decline machine feels incredible. So pretty much came to the Raw Athletic Club to use this machine. So I'm gonna start on this and I can't remember how heavy I went with Ian last time I used it, but I'll try and do the same or heavier. What? When your when your home gym's done, you need to start training there too. My house? Yeah. Not until after the Olympia, maybe. We won't have enough for me to properly train them. It's more for Courtney to use. Maybe if I had a day where I'm doing a two a day and I'm hitting biceps later in the day or abs in the morning, but I need to leave the house to feel like I'm going to work out. When do you think the roles are going to switch? What? When do you think the roles are going to switch between you and Courtney? What roles? You're not sleeping. <laughs> You're working out more. Never. Different priorities, you know? I also totally fucked up the last couple bit of my programming. Justin had put an explanation of what the sets were supposed to be. And then he put four sets and the warm-up was supposed to be 25 to 30% of that. And I accidentally thought the warm-up was before the four sets. So I was doing four working sets and I was just absolutely gassed. And I texted him. He's like, yeah, you're doing double the amount of volume you're supposed to. I was like, yeah, that feels about right. So fixing that up now and doing it properly, hopefully. <clears throat> Alright, moving on to an incline machine. Gotta find something that's converging. Maybe I'll use another new tech, because I haven't tried that one yet.
some asshole left them on the machine. <laughs> See, I, I get a little used to trading at my own gym all the time. I get mad when people take the weights off at my gym. I have a rule on the leg press at the Seabone Warehouse. A minimum five plates to be left on at all times. The angle you need? Why did you have to go in there though? I need to get the lift and pull it. Strategy. Work smarter, not harder. She had a really fucking good chest machine. I'm surprised by that a little bit. Like I knew it would be good because they're all good, but this is really good. I'm a big fan. It pushes you like up and in converging. Around the upper pack. Feels good. You can load the shit of it so you look jacked too, which is a bonus. <clears throat> Surprise drop set. I have no idea if I'm doing these right or not, but the dumbbell fly unrolling. So I'm trying to do like up and then rotate a little bit out at the end. So you're getting like a crazy stretch in your lats up into your anterior delt here. This isn't about like pit PRs, moving crazy weight or anything. It's just strengthening in a giant range of motion and getting a nice little burn. So finishing off with some of this, try out some new things and hopefully it'll also open up my shoulders, pick my posture and give my chest more room to grow. to work. It's 
buddy, but. Alright, this is going to be a wrap on today's beautiful little chest day. A little bit of a quicker workout because I'm going to do chest and back today, but I just fucked up every program this entire week, so I'm resetting for tomorrow. And I'm doing the same amount of volume per body part, but I messed up the last couple workouts with Ian. But they were good workouts, so it's all worth it. A nice workout here in the Raw Athletic Club. The new tech machine's pretty fire. The, mach the fly machine, gotta admit, needs longer arms for my long arms, but the other two were top two incline and decline presses I've ever used. So, very happy with that. So I'm gonna go get some protein, steal some from the smoothie bar, and figure some other shit out for the rest of my life. What? I don't know if you want to. Let's be I'd. What's the stack? Fiber, glutamine, double chocolate protein. Bro's making fun of me for not having a flavor. I got a whole wall, bro. You said you're making fun of me for not having a flavor, but I got a whole wall. Can't be a water, right? I'm gonna put. Is there any room over there? Yeah. I'm just gonna put. Like, you should. Dude. I'll be a picture vibe. of you, like. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. Man. That's good. Are we done? Yeah. Alright, so that's a wrap on this video again. I'm drinking. Double chocolate protein, fiber, and glutamine. Calvin told me to tell you that. I don't know why. It's the end of this video, so see you later.